my name is Emma Jean. If you're new, you're wondering who is, who are you? My name is Emma Jean. Welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new. And I have a new video for you. We're gonna go over back bends. Stay tuned. Hi again. Okay, so back bends. This can be in many different places, right? We can be on our knees, on our back, standing up and the standing up ones are the ones that we are going to go over there are different variations and because we are standing up and we're focusing on lifting up your chest creating a long spine but not dumping it into your lower back we are going to go through some different variations that you can try out so the first one coming from mountain pose breathe in reach your arms up starting here melt your shoulders away from your ears rotate your pinkies towards one another Start off with a straight spine, tuck your tailbone down. We know sometimes we start to curve our back, so tuck it down. Start off with a strong foundation first, then take a breath in. Exhale, baby back bend. Cactus, open your arms, press your hips forward. Lift up through your chest, lift, lift, lift. Think lift up rather than dumping down. Because right here, what you want to maybe do is start to arch up your back, which will then, you don't want to hurt yourself, you don't want to cause any injury. So really, even if you're just like this, if you start to feel it, that is good enough. I've seen some, you can really go down like this, but you want to make sure you are still lifting up. Very important. So starting from the front for breathing into mountain pose, maybe back bend, that's how it looks from the front. And then from the side. So I'll do them all from the side so you can see it more easily. That is a standard variation of baby back bend. Another one which is more used in hot yoga is going to be with a steeple grip. Same thing, you reach your arms up to the sky, but a steeple grip is you bring all your fingers down except your pointer finger. So your hand grip will look like this, and you reach straight up, you hug your biceps into your ears. Still a straight spine here, strong foundation. Take a breath in, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, deep back up bend. So still the same thing. You walk your gaze from the mirror, from the front of the room, all the way up to the ceiling. Maybe you look up to your arms. This one is a more intense one because what your arms are doing is allowing you to elongate more, but then that can also cause some more dumpage into your lower back. So be careful. Just make sure you're breathing. Make sure it's not too intense and make sure it just feels good. Then rise up to center, release your hands by your sides. Another one that I really, really like if I'm just feeling tired and I don't have that much engagement in my core to help me lift up or I don't feel that my chest is being lifted up or I'm not, my body's not warm enough is a supported back bend. You take your palms in your sacrum pockets about and you squeeze your elbows in. So that will help you to broaden up your shoulders and bring that engagement again into your core. Breathe in and lengthen through your spine. Exhale, back bend. Still same thing, you walk your gaze up to the ceiling. This feels just as good too. You can feel it in your back shoulders as well. And doing this posture helps you, it forces you to lift your spine up. So then then you can see how it is when you do those other two poses. I do all three, I love to do variations of all of them depending on how my body is feeling. The supported one is one that I really like to teach for those who are starting off so they can get that muscle memory in for the posture of still lengthening through your spine, keeping your chest up, and then also just squeezing your glutes together so you're all just stable in your core and to the back so you can feel the stretch through your back line. I hope that helped. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's a back bend variation that you do. Those are just a few that can be done in so many ways. Your arms can be in different ways too. I've seen so many different ones, but those are the three that I tend to teach and show students. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.